go from three distinct periods, the ultimate harpsichord, the earliest piano that really was catching on, and then the modern piano. So in a very small amount of time, audiences can see this evolution for themselves, hear it, touch it, and experience it firsthand. The harpsichord is a fascinating instrument. The harpsichord has many differences from the piano, but the most significant one is the force with which you hit the keys does not affect the loud and the soft, yet it has tremendous clarity that works remarkably well for the music of the Baroque era when the harpsichord was king. The harpsichord is really a perfect fit for living piano because it was the culmination of what was absolutely the instrument, the keyboard instrument, before the piano came to be. People have heard the harpsichord, but very few people have had an opportunity to play one or to hear it up close, and that's what really sets it apart. Now the forte piano is essentially a harpsichord with a hammer action, and if you take a look inside here, it's a very primitive mechanism compared to the modern piano. You have hammers that come towards you, which is backwards from a modern action. So the action is very, very light, and the tone has a real energy to it. The modern piano incorporates so many technologies that it's almost impossible to comprehend. For example, when I play one key on a piano, I'm setting in motion about a hundred different parts. So when you multiply that across the keyboard and there's somewhere around 10,000 parts, if you ever look at the, the action of a piano, it's miraculous in its complexity. And that's what enables the expressiveness, the speed, and the power. There are quite a number of extraordinary musicians specializing in early music, harpsichordists who do beautiful work, as well as people who specialize in the forte piano and play wonderful performances. But having an opportunity to hear these instruments side by side is remarkable but it really wouldn't be complete without hearing the final culmination of the modern piano and how these instruments grew, and that's what makes living piano unique.